Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Zebrio University's webinar on Financial Edge Excel plugins. Um, today we have Chuck Hayes, the Director of Application Services here at Zebrio, to lead the webinar. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the chat, which is located at the bottom of your screens, and we will go over the, all questions at the end. Um, thank you, and I'll now hand over the hosting to Chuck. Great. Thank you, Colleen. Again, my name is Chuck. I'll be your tour guide today. So let me go ahead and switch to sharing my screen. And then we'll talk about what we're here to discuss. So I'm just waiting for things to pop up on my side. There we go. Getting better. Okay, just one more thing I need to set up so I can monitor if there are any questions. Just one second here. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So again, welcome to our Zerbio University session. Today, we are introducing um, information about the new generation of Financial Edge, referred to as Financial Edge NXT. A number of our customers have upgraded to this new cloud version. And so um, we kind of assumed that for this call that you already have NXT, but some of you may not have it. So basically, what for those of you who have not upgraded yet, NXT is simply a cloud version of the soft, the same software you're used to using. You can still do everything you're used to using now and see everything you see now. It's just that they've added this new web view. But even more importantly, they're starting, Blackboard is starting to add integrations that only exist in the NXT view. And one of them are these two plugins. So these are new features only available in this latest version called NXT. So what I'd like to do is uh, briefly show you how they get turned on. They're free, so they can turn on by anyone using NXT. That also allow me to briefly show the NXT interface to those of you who haven't seen it before. And then we'll take a look at the, um, the options for general entry and budget scenarios. These are fantastic. They were only introduced a few months ago, so I'm quite excited about them. So we wanted to make sure that we had introduced them to folks and we've been talking about them with our NXT customers. So the first thing is that you log into Financial Edge NXT, you actually use a browser to do that. And I'll go back to the home page for a moment. We have a sample database for Zobrio. It's a tiny little database just to kind of illustrate how things work. So you use navigation menus at the top to navigate to journal entry or accounts payable. And I'll come to those in just a moment, but basically it's just a new presentation of what you're used to in what is still called database view. So in the upper right corner, I can um, switch my view to what you're used to in the legacy version of Financial Edge. So in this case, since we're talking about these two plugins, we're talking about journal entry and we're talking about budget. So let's talk first about how is it that I activate these particular um, plugin. So there's a one activation that's very simple, and then each of the workstations needs to do an install. So I just want to show you where those choices exist. These do only work on Office 2016 or later. If you're using 365, for example, to be on Office 2016, that is the current version that's installed through Office 365. At any rate, the activation is done through the control panel. So someone who can log into FENXT with administrative privileges can go to the control panel and you'll see something called application. So what's happened is um, Blackboard has created a development environment called the Sky API where third parties can create little apps, if you will, that will integrate directly with FENXT. And Blackboard has created two of them that I wanted to talk about today. So you'll see kind of in the middle here, there's budget creator for Financial Edge NXT. There's a tile for that. And in the lower left-hand corner, Financial Edge NXT Journal Entry Excel added. So both of these work directly with Excel. Someone with admin privileges would come to this particular page. You'll notice that these are already active with the green check mark button at the bottom of the tile. Notice other ones say connect. So if you've never done this before, you would see the word connect as a button. You click connect, it takes about 30 seconds, and then the button will change to active. 
That simply means that anyone in your organization can install this plugin um, because it's now available. And the Blackboard ones are free. So go ahead and click active once for everybody. Then step number two is for each workstation where someone is using Excel 2016, and they have, and you have FENXP. So on that workstation, have that person log in, just like you're seeing what I did. And also maybe an administrator has to do it because they have to get to the control panel and get to applications. But then in the tile for budget creation for financial edge NXT, you'll see a link that says more information. So I click on more information. I'll be taken to a separate page for this particular plugin in the Microsoft App Store. And you'll notice on the left, there's a button that says, get it now. Now, obviously, I've already installed it. So the sequence will be a little bit different at this point. But what you would do is just click get it now. You'll be asked to log in to your Microsoft ID account. If you have Office 365, it's whatever that ID is. If you do not, there'll be a link to create a free Microsoft ID. And then once you finish that process of the login or a new ID, then the buttons will change and there'll be an option to go ahead and open Excel. And when you open Excel, the system, this will automatically install the plugin for you. It's very seamless. It happens very automatically. It's basically a two-step process once you get to this point. Get it now, follow the magic prompts, and then open Excel and it'll be available to you. That's all you have to do. You just do it on each workstation. And again, I would do it for both the budget creator and for the journal entry plugin, same sequence. Just follow it for both of them on each workstation, you're good to go. I've done that, then Excel is available at any time to work with budgets and with journal entry. So let's back up and talk about, well, what are we talking about? So I'm gonna switch over and use the NXT view of journal entry. This is no different than the data use view, but Obviously, journal entry are journal entry batches. And in the NXT view, it's just a slide on the right that gives me an overview. I'll switch in the upper right to view the full record. But the point is, we're talking about that grid of manual journal entry batches. So instead of having to come into NXT or database view, start a new batch, and type in the information, I can do all of the data entry directly in Excel and the system will automatically, once I click a submit button, the system will automatically push that information directly into a new batch in journal entry, and I don't even have to log into FE to do it. I do that from completely from within Excel. So I'm assuming you all are, are familiar in general with the data entry for a journal entry batch, you know, it's the count number and a few other fields. So let's take a look at how that works with this Excel plugin, and then we'll do the same thing for budget. So I have started a blank worksheet in Excel. I just open Excel, start a blank worksheet. That's pretty straightforward. And in the upper right corner of my version, you'll see that I have two icons that kind of look like those tiles that, um, that we talked about or that I talked about earlier. You'll see a, a button in the ribbon tool where it says create budget and one that says create journal entry batch. So let's give the create journal entry batch a try and watch what happens. I'll just let the magic unfold and then I'll explain. So first of all, a task pane opens up on the right hand side and I'll be asked to sign in to FENXT. Now, you may think, well, you're in a browser and you're already signed in, but keep in mind that Excel is operating independently. So, and it, it, you don't have to worry about licensing or anything because I'm just using my same login. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in to FENXT Give me a moment to do that. I'll pull that off. So I can remember all my passwords here. <laughs> I think I'm good. So I go ahead and sign in. And I will show you the next set. So then I get a prompt to go ahead and authorize. Now, because I work with multiple customers right now, I have access to their databases. So I'm gonna, you probably will only list one. Um, if you have more than one database, so those will be listed. You pick the one you're trying to log into. So I'm going to do the, the Zobrio sample database. And then I do an authorization that allows me to do the integration. So I log in. Again, I'm in Excel, so this is operating independently. I do not have to open my browser first. I can just come right into Excel, log in, and work with it. So right now, the system is contacting FENXT 
it's going to reformat the workbook and then give me the option to go ahead and finish. Now here's the magical part. So notice how the plugin automatically reformatted my Excel workbook to match the journal entry grid. So notice the column headings, account number, description, post date, and cumbers. It's all the same columns that I just showed you in the browser that you would see in database view. So I can go ahead and put in a description for this batch. You can see I've done this before here. So test batch number two. And then I would simply do the data entry. Now what's nice about the plugin is that it does interact with FENXT. So I can type in an account number, and I did have to write that once, I don't forget the number in the sample database. So just like journal entry, I would type in the hyphen. So I'll type in the account number and tab out of the field, just like journal entry. And in just a moment, it will kick back the description. So the system will do a live lookup of the account number to make sure it exists. And it's helping me out by using today's date and a few other defaults um, inside this. And then of course, I would do whatever I need to do. So this is a revenue account. I'll just um, put in a sample dollar amount. This database is currently requiring projects. That's another conversation. Whoops, I meant to uh, click inside this cell. So pretty much, I just do the data entry used here. Now, since I'm in Excel, I can copy and paste you know, from another workbook. So you have all the conveniences of Excel for the final data entry without having to do import and all that kind of stuff. So you're basically saving quite a few steps in the process. So I would go ahead and complete my data entry. I'd click submit on the right, and then this information will be stored in a new batch that's open inside the NXT view, and I'm good to go. That's all I have to do. Open Excel, click the Create Journal Entry Batch button, Ribbon Toolbar button, go ahead and sign into FENXT and type away. It's that easy. No importing, no extra steps, no saving to see, direct connection, and I'm done. So I'm really excited about this plugin. I just think it's fantastic. So that's the journal entry plugin. Now let's take a look at the option for doing budget information. So again, let's take a step back here. I'm going to switch over to what are called budgets in Financial Edge. And just by way of exploration, so budgets are called budget scenarios. They are separate records of budget information, and you use them on report. So in this example, I have one called final with a very simple set of budget information. So you notice it just has a few rows for demonstration purposes. Excuse me. And for those of you familiar with the budget data entry, um, you've got the account number. The total budget represents the total for the, the year, assuming this is a fiscal year budget. And then I have, I can distribute the budget across more than one period, or I can just have to in the first period. So that's pretty basic budget information. Looks the same in pretty much the same in database view. Now what's different about this plugin, which I really like, is that not only I create a new scenario, but I can edit an existing scenario. So let me just talk a little bit more about the budget scenario information, because there's one feature here that some of you may have a need for that you can't even do through import. So when you're using project records, and those are those separate identifiers that supplement the account number, when you're using project records and you want to import a budget scenario, there's a specific sequence you have to follow. And then the system will total things correctly. If you're also using the grant record, and it's beyond the, this particular session to explain all the ins and outs of using what's called the grant record. But if you're using the grant record in addition to the project record, right now with import, you can't really import the grant information. You'd have to go into the scenario and manually add in the grant information within this scenario. However, the plugin allows you to do it all at once and it directly integrates. So not only is it easier using Excel, but it adds functionality that simply does not exist through import currently. So let's switch back to Excel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and in this same, normally I'd use a separate workbook, of course. But in the same workbook, I'm going to go ahead and click the option to create a budget. And my answers will be slightly different. 
I'm saying it's a silent thing. Get this out of the way. Hey guys, bad base if that were the case. Now notice I have two choices. I can budget basically means I am creating a new budget scenario. I would have to know ahead of time, you know, how is my system set up? Like, what's the ID I'm using? Like I did for final that I showed you a moment ago. But even better, I can edit an existing scenario. The journal entry batch right now only allows you to push out a new one. I can't pull in an existing one. But with budgets, I can pull in an existing one. So let's do that. Um, let me just show you again in the browser. So my scenario known of as final for 2019 has about five entries in it. So let's pull that into Excel. Edit existing budget. I'll wait a moment for everything to synchronize. So I'll choose fiscal year 2019 and final. That's the one I was just showing you. Now I'm going to click continue. A new workbook opens up. I'm going to close the journal entry pane. And voila, now I was only showing like five rows in that particular view. If I had scrolled down, I would have shown, I kind of slightly misspoke about how many rows were in there. But there's the information you started seeing at the top. So it pulls in everything in the area. I want to, I can move, of course, of distributing it across the year. And then I can click submit, and my changes are, are written right back into the scenario record. So not only can I create new ones, but I can edit an existing one. And of course, I can add projects, and I can also add grants if that's appropriate. And those are all based on the rules in your system. So just to recap, for the budget plugin, I can choose to create a new scenario, or I can edit existing one, do whatever I need to do in Excel, and then push it back with a submit and all the changes are written into FENXT, and I'm good to go. So that, in a nutshell, is how these plugins work. As you can see, they are really simple to use once you've got them installed. The installation is very automatic, so um, I, you know, it'll run very smoothly on each workstation once you have those Microsoft 2016. And then whenever you need to, open up Excel, start a new workbook, create a new journal entry batch, boom, you're done. And for budget scenarios, pull in the existing one or create a new one. It's that easy. I know we scheduled a little bit longer for the session um, just to allow for questions, but frankly, the plugins are so simple to use that I didn't even need all the time to show you how they actually work. So that pretty much takes care of the content for our session. What I would like to do is allow a few more minutes for any questions. And please go ahead and use the chat option. Um, just click the chat button in the window for the Zoom meeting and chat pane will open up and, and I'll be glad to hang for any questions that you may have. But thanks for me and like, I'll stick around to answer any questions. But as you can see, these are super simple to use. About them, I've been into them equally excited. Does anyone have any questions? I can give everyone just a little bit to submit one. All righty, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, a recording of this webinar will be available to you uh, shortly. Thank you. Thanks.